This week on The Wire, values to rise across the nation, banks busy amid recovery, and more lenders to slash rates. Welcome to The Wire, guys, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening from the week in finance, real estate, and investment. But before we kick it off, let me introduce myself. My name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator, and I'm also the founder of Infinite Wealth. I've trained over 18,000 people how to reach their financial goals, whether it be things like home ownership, travel and lifestyle, or early retirement. We do it using only what people currently have available to them right now. And we do it with very high customer satisfaction ratings. Now, of course, if you're a first time, if it's your first time tuning in, or you're someone who's been following along for a long time, look, guys, thanks for spending your time here. We really appreciate it, and we just love seeing all your interaction with these posts. So please like, love, comment, question. Uh, you know, angry. Tell us what you think. Tell us how you feel. Uh, and the only other thing that I ask is that you share these videos with your friends and family on your social media platforms so that they can get the benefit of this valuable information as well. But let's kick it off. Let's get into it. Let's look at the top stories happening this week. So values to rise nationally across the nation. So property values are set to rise in cities across the nation, according to a survey by analysis, uh, uh, by comparison website Finder. Uh, and this is building on the small gains that we've seen in recent months. Now, in the latest Finder RBA cash rate survey, experts gave their 12 month forecasts in terms of changing in property prices in the capital cities. And on average, most markets will rise over the next year. Now, Graham Cook, Insights Manager at Finder says, most foresee small levels of growth across the board, but a few tip prices to fall, especially in Sydney and Melbourne. Now, however, after one of the strongest weekend clearance rates in Sydney in recent months, which was 71%, there is definitely a detectable pulse in the big city markets. Now, Canberra did come out on top with the highest uh, predicted growth on average, uh, followed by Hobart and Brisbane, with also some really strong signs there for Perth. Now, CBA senior economist Gareth Ed says his analysis of the latest price data is really positive. I think these latest numbers are actually gonna be the start of a trend. That's what, uh, that's what uh, Gareth Ed said. We are seeing some modest rises across Australia's biggest capital cities. So now for our next story. Banks busy amid recovery. So Mortgage Choice says loan applications have increased significantly in recent months, and that's in stark contrast to a year ago when its profits were, profits were weakened by falling house prices in the biggest cities and tighter credit. Now the mortgage broker now sees recovery in the home loan market in response to the federal election result, back-to-back -back interest rate cuts in June and July, and a rule change that has lifted uh, consumers' borrowing capacity. So we've seen our loan applications rise significantly since June 30, and that's from CEO Susan Mitchell. I think everyone has seen that, and the feedback I've gotten from the banks is that they are busy as they have ever, as that they are as busy as they have ever been. Now the comments add to other commentary from mortgage-related businesses. With Aussie Home Loans founder John Simon saying last week he believed the housing market had settled down and the outlook was bloody fantastic compared with that 12 to 18 months ago. And that's a direct quote, bloody fantastic. Now the Reserve Bank board minutes last week also noted the pickup in loan approvals for investors in June, which it said was consistent with indications that the market had stabilized. So now moving on to our final story for the week, uh, the more lenders slash their rates. So Citibank has reduced mortgage rates across its home loan product suite, effective for new businesses from the 26th of August. So the non-major lender is the latest in a spate of both major and non-major lenders reducing their rates in response to eased guidance from the banking regulator and all-time low cash rates set by the Reserve Bank. City's variable owner occupied principal and interest home loan rates will now start from 3.21%, while its fixed owner occupied principal and interest rates will now start from 2.99%. So, another bank that's offering uh, interest rates under 3%. Once again, so if on your investments, guys, if you're paying more than four, you can definitely get a better rate. Come and have a, ch a chat with us. Uh, and if on your owner occupied home, you're paying more than about three and a half, you definitely want to speak to us so we can see whether there's some better deals out there for you as well. Now, earlier, Westpac subsidiaries, and that's the Bank of Melbourne, Bank SA, and St. George's Bank, also reduced fixed rates across their owner occupied and investment home loan offerings. The Bank of Melbourne and St. George slashed rates by between 10 basis points and 1.3. 35% with both banks uh, owner occupied fixed rates now starting from 2.94% and investment fixed rates from 3.64%. 
According to CanStar's finance analyst, Steve Mickenbecker, the rate cuts have come in response to a decline in wholesale funding costs. So guys, they're the big stories happening this week. Uh, a couple of things before uh, we go, just a quick reminder guys, please, we love to see your interaction, so please comment, question. Don't forget if you wanna get a question answered in our Just Ask Tim video series, post it all below or just send it to at infinitewealthau or at timguestau and someone will always get back to you and I could even be answering your question live in one of our broadcasts. Finally guys, don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family so they can get the benefit of this valuable information as well. And I'll be coming back at you with our Just Ask Tim video series uh, early next week. So stay tuned, have a great weekend, and I look forward to speaking to you then. G'day guys, bye.